You don't need to ask the government. It's not there. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hey, if you don't shut up, I shall fireball your face. Thor News presents... Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Hit the button, baby. Welcome to Thor's Sinkhole de Mayo. It's a fiesta. Welcome to Super Sinkhole City, baby. We have a sinkhole problem. That's right. We've got a sinkhole that caused a building collapse at Watergate in Washington. We've got sinkholes in Main Street, New York. We had a sinkhole at a Corvette Museum in Kentucky. We had a sinkhole at a football field in Austin. Sinkholes are draining the Dead Sea, and an adorable miniature horse was rescued from an adorable miniature sinkhole. Sinkholes have gotten so popular, sinkhole sex is now a fetish. And technically, 30% of Florida is a sinkhole. Man, this sinkhole stinks. This sinkhole story stinks, bro. All right, the main reason I covered this story is because when doing my due diligence, checking out the news, I saw that some places had reported that the structural collapse at the famed Watergate building was caused by a sinkhole, which is what was first reported. Washington, D.C.'s Fire and Emergency Medical Services Department responded to a structural collapse at the Watergate complex Friday morning. Early reports indicate that the collapse was caused by a possible sinkhole opening, though D.C. Fire and EMS said the collapse was caused by construction. Construction. And I was like, wait, dude, you must not understand. Because construction actually builds things. Things like sinkholes tear down constructions. You know what I'm saying? They swallow houses, streets, homes, and cars. Sinkholes love eating cars, especially fire trucks for some reason. Maybe it's because they're so heavy. Now, I would guess and I would imagine that there is a lot of terraforming going on underground, that there are a large intricate series of underground bases for mini ice age, nuclear war, economic collapse, what have you. Uh, I would guess fracking when you move a trillion square feet of oil and natural gas out of the way and even replace it with wastewater, you're going to get some Mother Earth movement. You know what I'm saying? And then I would guess maybe the Russians have a mole man machine. Maybe the Russians have a mole man machine which can tunnel through the ground, creating tunnelways instantly, which would explain all the giant, perfect round holes in Russia and Ukraine and around that area. Now, this is not a fear-mongering video. I'm just stating facts that the Earth is changing, and I guess carbon-2 is causing holes in the ground or something. I'm sure they can technically link that. That's cool. But I just want to let you guys know, welcome to my new series. <laughs> we have a sinkhole problem. All right, this one was fun, and I love you. And the funny thing is, like, back in the day, Watergate, you could get impeached for spying on people. And now, that's just status quo, baby. We are light years beyond 1984, that is for sure. Sinkholes make Corvettes look like matchbox cars. And lest anyone misunderstand, the Watergate sinkhole is from earlier this week, and it really got so little coverage, I just wanted to cover it. And most of these sinkholes are from earlier this year, last year, or years previous to that. So yes, we do have a sinkhole problem, but it is part of a much larger infrastructure and no overall plan for anything amongst the public. Okay, now if you really want doom, the methane-filled sinkhole in Louisiana is about as real and as doomy as it gets. Isn't methane flammable and explosive? Also, there is no truth to the report that Florida shall change its name from the Sunshine State to Sinkhole Land. No, seriously though, Florida has a sinkhole problem. Alright, God bless everyone. Have a great Sunday.